Hi, Cancer. Happy New Year, and welcome to Karma Light Readings. I am Karma, and this is Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus reading for January 2020. Um, so before we get started, I picked two cards from my Wisdom of the Oracle deck that I got for the holidays, um, just to get a general feel of your energy this month, what you guys are facing or dealing or up against, okay? Um, so the two cards that you have are Unfinished Sympathy, Symphony, sorry, and Truth Be Told, okay? So Unfinished Symphony and Truth Be Told, um, the number 10, 1, 14, and 5 may be important to you. <clears throat> but the energy that I was getting with these cards is there's something... This can even come in the form of a conversation with somebody or something that needs to be said or done um, that has kind of been racking your brain for a while. And what I mean by that is you may have gotten in a disagreement with somebody. There may be a situation in your life where it just feels like it didn't end properly, okay? Or it's unfinished. You didn't get to finish it. It wasn't closed out in a way that makes your soul feel good, okay? Um, and for a lot of you, this may have to do with speaking your truth. Um, I do feel like a lot of you may need to say something to somebody or it could be just setting boundaries is what I'm feeling. Um, like maybe you've had somebody in your life who's kind of been in and out or has done something that caused you a lot of pain in the past. Could have been betrayal or something like that. And maybe they're coming back around, okay? And I feel like Spirit is saying you need to speak your truth and stand in your truth and move towards your truth. What is it that you want for yourself and your life, Cancer? Where is it that you are trying to go? Um, you need to close out old energies, old situations, things that are not um, conducive to your life anymore, that are not you know, helping you to flourish and reach the level that you're trying to reach. Um, so just keep in mind, if, if any of those sound familiar, I do feel like it will for some of you. Um, try to pull yourself out of the situation and look at it from a bird's eye view um, and really trying to understand, okay, yes, this was a painful situation. Yes, I'm unhappy, okay, whatever it is. And look at it in a sense or in a new perception of why did this happen? What, what is it that I need to learn or what is it that I need to do differently um, that I haven't been doing, that hasn't been helping me, okay? And that I, I feel like that's where you will discover your truth and really connect with yourself and gain that strength because you have 10 here and 10 is all about the beginning of a new cycle, right? Because something has ended. You're closing something out and you're moving into this new cycle. And with truth be told, it's number 14, which adds to five. And five is big changes, right? Big changes, huge shifts. And five is in the middle, okay? It's in the middle of, of one through nine. And five is that card that represents leaving something and moving to the next, okay? To the next part of, of your journey. All right, my lovely Cancers. Let's take a look and see what situations have been going on and what you're going to be dealing with in January. Holy Spirit, what messages of clarity, inspiration, enlightenment, healing, and understanding do you have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for January 2020? All right, let's take a look here. Overall energy on the bottom of the deck, King of Cups, okay? So for me, King of Cups is a Scorpio, but you could be dealing with um, another water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, or yourself, or a Cancer. Um, this is somebody who's very in control of their emotions, okay? So let's go back to these two cards, Unfinished Symphony and Truth Be Told. I feel like January, this beginning of 2020, is really your first lesson in how do you emotionally respond to people? How in control are you? How well can you 
delegate and speak your truth and make sure that your boundaries are no longer crossed, right? If something doesn't feel good to you anymore, you are going to listen to it because you trust your emotions and your intuition. You are in check of yourself, okay? So I feel like that's a big theme for you this month. Let's take a look. Okay, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse with the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. All right, Two of Swords in reverse. Temperance in reverse. Five of Wands. So we have Sagittarius and Scorpio energy here. Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus. Okay. <clears throat> so... I do feel like this has to do with either, um, it could be a friendship for some of you, okay, that the situation is regarding, uh, but there was a situation here between you and somebody else, and I feel as though you're really on this journey right now of caring for yourself, okay? Because I have the Eight of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles crossing it. The Queen of Pentacles is all about self-nurturing, right? Self-love. What do I need to do to build a stronger foundation in my life, to, to have more stability, to be happy in my own skin, to be living my truth, to be speaking my truth? Um, and that's why we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So I feel like there was a separation or you may have walked away from someone. And now, instead of going back, I feel like you've decided I'm not, I don't want to go back. I'm going to be focusing on myself, right? And you're really trying to set up your own foundation, your own stability. This could be in the sense of getting a new job. Um, but this is also somebody who's very nurturing, okay? Very nurturing. Um, I feel as though you're really connecting, again, connecting with yourself with the Two of Swords here, Cancer, in reverse. You're very open. I don't feel like you're blocking um, anything with this card in reverse. It's almost like... You have no need to, to be concerned because where you used to be emotionally overreactive, okay, or there was a situation that caused you to lose your own self-worth or validation, I feel like you don't have that anymore. I feel like this is something that you've really been working on within. So let's take a little bit deeper of a look here. Holy Spirit, why is the Eight of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles here in reverse? Eight of Cups in reverse, Queen of Pentacles, Cancer, Sun, Moon. Wow, we're not taking all of that. Spirit. It's like 15 cards. Eight of Cups in reverse, Queen of Pentacles, Holy Spirit. Yes. So you're really happy right now. I feel like this is a time of celebration for you because you are excited about the next level that you're going in your life. Again, something may have ended, okay? But I feel like you are coming to a point, Cancer, where you're okay with something ending. It's almost like something had to end for something to begin. Does that make sense to you? You could be coming together with um, some friends or family and just having a really happy time, like very carefree. You're, like I said, you have everything in check right now. So that's great because King of Cups, overall energy. Holy Spirit, why is the Two of Swords here for Cancer? Mm. So there was a situation of the Queen of Swords in reverse. There was a situation, Cancer, where it felt like things just were not going the way that you had planned. Somebody was very closed off. Somebody was not communicating or they were saying very hurtful, disrespectful things. Okay, you felt like this person really crossed the line or this could be how somebody felt about you. And I feel like that's what's put you into this um into this energy of working on yourself and really trying to better, you know, your life and your situation here. Going back up to the top, we, with the two first cards, we talked about, um, you know, maybe there was 
a, a situation where you allowed somebody to cross boundaries or somebody betrayed you and you need, you have something to say. I feel like that's what this is. You are now in this energy. Queen of Pentacles, she's got it under control, right? King of Cups, I've got my emotions in check. So again, this is just reiterating that there was a situation and I feel that some, some words, there was an argument of some sort and there were some words that just were not, they weren't kind. Um, in your recent past, <clears throat> you have Sagittarius energy temperance in reverse. Nothing was calm. Nothing was peaceful. I'm feeling like this was just totally irrational, dramatic. Um, it could have been gossipy, okay? Like somebody was gossiping about you. Um, but it was just drama. And I don't even really feel like it was something that you initiated, okay? For some of you, maybe maybe you did, but I'm not getting that energy. I'm really getting the energy of more somebody just kind of verbally attacking you and just really nasty energy, okay? Um, so things were chaotic and overwhelming in, in the recent past. Uh, currently, I have the five of wands. So I feel like you're still in the state of energy of knowing that communication with this person probably isn't going to go very well. Um, you guys still are struggling to see eye to eye and there still could be some um, potential for conflict here. M some of you may still be dealing with um, somebody who's argumentative. You guys just can't make sense of it. It's like you argue about everything. Holy Spirit, why is this five of wands here? It's like they don't agree with any decision you make. Oh, you know what I'm saying? They're just against everything you say. Five of wands. Yeah, it's too much. It's so drama. You have seven of cups in reverse. Um, you've run out of anything to say to each other. You've literally run out of things to say to each other. And then we have the king of swords in reverse on the bottom. So Queen of Swords and King of Swords, both in reverse. They're, the communication here is just crap, okay? And if somebody is saying anything, like I said, it's argumentative, and you're literally drained. You're like, all of my options are shot with this person. I, I, There's nowhere for me to go. That's why the Seven of Cups is here in reverse. Like, I've tried this, I've tried this. I've You've tried everything. And I feel like, Cancer, you've come to this recognition of it's not going to go anywhere. This isn't beneficial to me and it's not beneficial to them either. So we need to just cut it out. What's going to bring me my happiness? Um, in your future, you have the death card in reverse, which is great. This is rebirth and transition. So you've really kind of pulled yourself up by the bootstraps, Cancer, um, in the situation and, and tried to make the best of it here. Holy Spirit, why is the death card here? Why is the death card here for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Oops, there we go. Wow. Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, with the Knight of Swords in reverse. You have had a personal transformation, and you're like, I'm not putting up with crap anymore, right? So whatever this was, it's over. Okay. Um, whatever the situation was, you have... Put an end to it. You're leaving it where it is. You may have had this opportunity to say something to this person, okay? That's what this unfinished symphony is. It's like it didn't end the way you thought it was going to end because there's so much conflict and disagreement. Forgive me. But there was no... The passion was lacking in this connection because of the conflict that you and this person were dealing with. Um, you know, nobody was willing to compromise here and kind of just come down so you could have a conversation is really what it feels like to me. But you make the right decision, my loves, you do. Um, this is a transformation for you. This is a huge time of growth and rebirth. And, and I feel like 2020 is starting us off, you know, all of us, no matter our zodiac signs. I feel like it's January 6th and I definitely feel like I've already like, I'm in the middle of a test, right? Um, so the universe is not playing any games in 2020. They're like, okay, you know, we put you through the ringer last year. Um, did you learn anything? And so it's time to really implement that in our lives. 
I have your energy as the Knight of Cups. But let me see why. You're moving forward regardless. This is some sort of message, an emotional message, a steady message, okay? Like a steady, sturdy person may be coming towards you here with a message of love. Holy Spirit, why is the Knight of Cups here? For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Mm. Ten of Wands. Okay, so I feel like somebody may be coming towards you. Or this could be you just having that talk. You having that talk with somebody about the burden, about the the stress. There's some weight on your shoulders here and you're you're wanting to release that. You may have even said something to this person about trying to work through whatever situation you have. And that and now you're just like it's not it's not working. Yeah, cuz you're feeling very stuck. I feel like you are like I've waited long enough for something to happen and this is too much. It's not happening and I'm done, right? All right, let's see here. Holy Spirit. The other person's energy is coming in as the Empress in reverse. I feel like right now this person's life kind of is upside down for them right now. They may be dealing with a lot. They're kind of lacking um, any growth, okay, in, in areas in their life. Could even just be they're recognizing that they're lacking growth with you because it's ended. Holy Spirit, why is the Empress here? The Torch. Come on. Woo. Wow. All right. Ace of Pentacles upright and the hanged man so this person i feel is recognizing and realizing that they've missed an opportunity here okay um there was i they recognize that there was you know some stability here um but it's not coming to fruition and it's kind of leaving them in this energy of not knowing what to do um i feel that they were at some point hopeful, but I feel like maybe some ego really got in between you guys here, especially with this this other person. There is promise here. They don't know right now. This is very confusing, this, this person, because the Empress is an abundant new beginning and pretty much so is the Ace of Pentacles. Um, so to have one in reverse and one not and then the Hanged Man, this person doesn't, they're not able to make a decision. Do I stay or do I go? Okay. Um, and they're not able to fully accept one or the other, which means if you can't make the decision to move forward with somebody, if you can't commit to that, that's because there was something that happened that you're still holding on to from the past that you can't heal from, correct? So that's what I feel like this person is going through. And it's like, if they can't make a decision, then it's not even worth it because you either do or you don't, right? You either do or you don't. So they do see the potential and the promise though and, and wish that it could be better, different, but they're not making a decision. So I think you take the decision into your own hands this, this month, Cancer. And you're like, all right, screw it. I got a life to live. I got things to do. This is what it's going to be. Um, the outcome is three of wands in reverse, not moving forward, not waiting anymore, not playing any games. Holy Spirit, why is the three of wands here? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Because you're moving forward. You have the sun. You're like, I see my future. I see where I'm going. I know what I want. Um, Six of cups in reverse on the bottom. Something, you have to walk away from somebody. There's a situation that isn't serving you anymore. Yes, there's so much love in this situation and you care for this person so much, Cancer. But the truth is, what are you gaining? What are you gaining from this? And I think that you now realize I'm not gaining anything. So you choose to walk away and move into your, to your freedom and walk right into the sun where abundance is going to come in. And I really feel like you're going to experience a huge shift 
because in a sense, this is like dead weight, excess baggage that you don't need. It's not helping you. All right, my beautiful Cancers, that was your January 2020 reading. Um, if you guys are interested in a personal reading, the links are below and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.